Hello everybody. So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different than my usual videos. I'm going to be reviewing this. It's um, a Pepper X chicken tikka masala that I bought from Iceland at the weekend after one of my work colleagues pointed it out to me. Um, it's made from Pepper X and those of you who have watched Hot Ones on YouTube will know that this is the hottest hot sauce in the world, that's the hottest pepper in the world, and it's their last kind of challenge. So it'll be interesting to see just how hot this is. It's got an 18 plus only rating on it, so supposedly you have to be over 18 in order to buy it. Although for some reason, the staff at Iceland didn't ask me my age, which is a little bit rude, I thought. But there we go. So that's what we're gonna be trying. Um, it's out here in front of me, of course. Now, I've never done a food review before, but I did a few years ago go around a lot of the um, supermarket own vindaloos and try all those out. And the hottest one there by a long shot was the Morrison's Volcanic Vindaloo. And that was like extremely hot. So it'd be interesting to see how this compares. It's a few years ago, so I might not really remember exactly what the comparison's like. But anyway, it's not my first go at this, I suppose, in terms of super hot stuff. And I have got a bottle of De Bomb here, which is horrendous. Um, not the hottest sauce in the world, but basically the worst sauce in the world. So I've got a little bit of experience here. Just for your interest, my favourite Vindaloo from a supermarket is probably Sainsbury's or Asda. Both of those are excellent choices. Anyway, I've kind of delayed the inevitable here, haven't I? So we'd better get going. Now, First things first, it doesn't look massively impressive. The chunks of chicken are very small. They're only tiny little bits, they're only cubes of chicken really. And quite a lot of sauce. So it doesn't look amazing. When I was cooking it up, um, the fumes of it made me choke a little bit, so it's obviously fairly hot. Anyway, let's, um, let's dive in, shall we? A little bit of naan bread glass of milk in case something goes wrong, and for pudding, some yoghurt. Okay, let's give it a go. These are okay so far, but I can feel the heat building a bit. Hmm. Not crazy, but it's definitely getting hotter. Maybe, maybe I'll start to do a bit of hiccuping in a minute, but at the moment, it's not a ban absolutely bananas. I thought it was going to be significantly hotter than something like the Morrison's Volcanic Vindaloo. But in reality, it's actually fine. Hmm. The taste is actually reasonably right. It's a bit disappointing that there's quite a lot of sauce and there's not an awful lot Ooh, let me give the hiccups not an awful lot of chicken but you know it's not bad I slight oop let me give the hiccups again slight disappointment in terms of quality but not something that you should necessarily shy away from because I think it's going to be mind-bogglingly hot. It's actually reasonably okay. Hot, but no hotter than if you had, say, a Vindaloo in a curry house. More or less that kind of temperature. Anyway, I'll be back once I've finished it all. Give you the final verdict. So despite what I said a couple of seconds ago, I thought I'd come back halfway because um, it's definitely one of those things that builds. The first kind of um, few mouthfuls, you think, oh, that's fine. Not a massive problem. Whereas when you're about halfway through, like I am now, you think, oh yeah, I can see where this is going. It's, um, it's a, a builder rather than like an initial bag. 
the flavour is not too bad. You can definitely, I mean, I've never had pepper eggs before, but you can definitely tell it's got a bit of a unique flavour to it. Um, but anyway, it's getting a little bit more painful. The milk is going down. This makes a big difference. If you have hot curry, just make sure you have some milk and maybe a bit of yoghurt or something on the side, just in case. Anyway, I will be back at the end. Okay, so we're all done. Plate is cleared. And as I say, it's a bit of a builder at this point. Um, if you have a bit of, of milk or something, you think to yourself, oh, that's fine, not real problem. But then if you don't have anything for, say, 30 seconds, it really starts to build up. So now it's starting to hurt the back of my throat, making it a little bit more tricky to talk. So even though I initially thought, ah, oh, this is fine, it's just like a vindaloo, in reality it is definitely a bit hotter, um, a reasonable amount hotter, I would say, than the kind of, definitely than any vindaloo you would have in a supermarket, and probably most vindaloos or such like that you would have in an Indian restaurant. Now, I've never tried a farm, so I'm not quite sure how that compares. But I would say it's probably probably the hottest curry that I've ever had, I would say. Maybe the volcanic vindaloo is hotter. Weirdly, that was hotter than anything I'd had in a restaurant before. But um, yeah, it's, it's spicy. It's not really kind of 18 plus races. It's a bit excessive, I would think. But um, yeah, interesting experience. Now, now it's not, not having the milk for a while. It's dying down a little bit, so I'm fine now. It's just that if you kind of like, um, just finish it, you need a bit of milk or something like that on the side to keep you going. So yeah, nice. An interesting experience, and that's what life's all about try unusual things. This is Mike signing off with my super hot Pepper X CTM.